To me, you know, Ayush and I joke that in Silicon Valley, the word pivot didn't exist two years ago. Basically, when the economy crashed, somebody created the word pivot, which was saying, I don't want a down round. I've just seen a bigger opportunity, so I'm pivoting towards it. And so to try to keep an up round during the crisis. But in the case of pivoting, it just means nimbleness and technology and creativity like Ayush and other entrepreneurs and founders have. I came here with $400. I uh, found out that the first semester I was not going to get any aid. I was also surprised to see the cost of textbooks. So I started looking for options to find cheaper books and there were only a few options. So my business side of the brain started going crazy and I was like, this is a huge problem for other students as well. Craigslist was one of the classified sites at that time, but it was not solving the problem of campuses since they were only in major cities. One of the ideas that we had you know, discussed while we were doing classifieds was writing textbooks. You know, we were at a very interesting point in the company. We had raised $3 million and we had hired a great team and we were sitting on a problem that was still unsolved. You probably didn't know, but in the state schools, like right here in the state of California, the cost of a textbook, if you bought them new, are 25 to 75 percent of the cost of tuition. The cost of textbooks was still very expensive and the market was just waiting to be disrupted. And so we were just sitting in a conference room and our discussion was we cannot just pack our bags and go home. So we did a small test with our users and the reaction was very positive and the demand exploded. We obviously raised the money, but that was not enough to keep going, so we had to finance a lot on our credit cards. I would definitely call that a pivot, uh, given that you know it was very different from the original business and how we had to set up a warehouse, get a customer service team in place. So there were tons of things that had to be proven, but it was very clear that we had hit on something that was very important to the students. They were saving hundreds of dollars on the cost of textbooks. So we decided to raise an additional round of money from existing investors and move the focus of the company to just running textbooks. And we are also growing the number of services they use and the frequency in which they use this. We went from two days a year to 300 days a year. Then we wanted to be on any device that they wanted. We wanted to give them services, homework help, class notes, internships, scholarships, jobs. So the opportunity to leverage social technology to build a connected network of students, to let students help solve problems for other students, we just thought the opportunity was too big not to go for it. Pivoting has allowed for all idea for one person to really catch on as a huge idea for millions of people and that's the fun part of this. We already reach 25 to 30 percent of all college kids in the country. And so, for example, if you think of renting a movie, you go to Netflix. If you think of watching a video, you go to YouTube. And there was an opportunity to be the place where a student was interested in saving time, saving money, and getting smarter, to say, where do I go? And so the answer is starting to be, and will be, checked.